again. Dad's here with me, and Johnny's over on the couch, as always. And we are going to be doing our numbers, as we always do. Our numbers include warm responses, auditions, booked jobs, and uh, our income from uh, certain things. So I don't think John's will be in. It won't be income for their their business, for Vomp's business, but for Dad and I as voiceover talents, we will give our specific earnings for this week. So... As always, Johnny, All right. let's hear how the VO Marketing Pro Group did. Uh, we had, sorry about that, guess just ain't mine. Count them up. We had uh, 41 warm responses. Nice. We had eight auditions, and we had three jobs reported. They include you and dad. Okay. A little bit of a slower week here for jobs reported. We have... I know we have three jobs that we just can't talk about just yet I, that, that we think are co- going to come through. Um, three on top of the three that we're that, already Yeah, had. yeah. We're just waiting. We, we are careful with how we confirm those um, just because every once in a while something happens last minute and it doesn't come through. But it looks like there's got a good chance that these will come to fruition. So hopefully we'll be, we, will be, we will be reporting on those next week. Um, but Kimberly Young received a uh, job from a recurring client. Dad, you received a new a new client, and Hudson received a recurring client. I sure did. Um, and so yeah, I had two. I had two. I just got one this afternoon. Oh, okay. So I had I had one from two. Ireland earlier, and then so this four, one I can't I remember yeah. what is for, uh, what it's for, where it's from, and so. But yep, I had two, okay. and and just again a reminder that um, because I've been doing this so long, I don't. <laughs> count my recurring clients Correct. because I clients. would have 10, 12 a week. Yeah. Um, but again, that's not an in your face. No. It's more of an encouragement that if you stay in this, then all of a sudden, oh, one one of these new clients turns into a recurring client. Yep. And then you go down the line and you miss two or three that don't become recurring clients. And then you get another one that becomes a once a month client. And pretty soon Just you've got- Just out of the woodwork. They're yeah, coming. pretty soon you've got four or five that come back regularly and you've got yourself a business, a direct email marketing business. Yep. That's why we don't have mine yep. listed. Yep. And so we, you know, we tell you that we make cold calls on behalf of the roster. Yeah. Um, we do promote that we do have- you know, in-house people as well that we work with. Um, But uh, yeah, that's based off of Andy's email sent out. And we had a few nice, really good phone calls this week. Drew makes those. He does those um, once a week. We talked about increasing those because we found that for some people, um, video production companies, they like that touch, the the talking talking to somebody. And like, Direct email work works, obviously, um, but it also works. Uh, some people like that, mm. the cold mm. calls. They, they they get lots of emails. We've talked about that. They get lots of emails throughout the week. And so mm. they'll say, yeah, this, this will help me keep track. Um, and so then what we do is we follow up with them. I put a note in my calendar to get in front of them on behalf of the roster um, and try to customize that a little bit to what they talked about on the phone with Drew and then we ask if we can stay in front and keep those keep that roster in front, and uh, lots of them are willing to do that um, and wanting us to do that. So we then stay in contact with those people. So I was just going to say, yeah. I was going to say two things. You and Mom, yep, are in training. Yeah, you're watching, and 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 going to at some level or the other do some cold calling or you know some other warm nuances calls, of yeah call, warm cold calling calls. And, yep. Yep, pick up the phone and actually talk to a person, and and it's on your behalf. Those of you who are part of the roster, um, and and it helps everybody. It, it, do, does, it doesn't yep. just help the roster. It's because a lot of times things overflow or they yep. they connect to other people that aren't even on the roster. So it, it will help. The other thing was Drew works full time, and so mm-hmm. he does this at During his lunch, lunch hour yep. uh, once a week, and then kind of trains you guys because he's a professional. He does that. He's done that for years and years. He's been on the phone, but he said this to us last week. He said, "I think that you know somebody should be doing this full <laughs> full time. You know, making mm-hmm. cold calls because you get right to the person. You make a connection. Some 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 people don't like that. Maybe yep. they won't pick up the phone. Yep. 
uh, so you have to leave a message. But other people seem to like it. They like the personal touch and you get a response right away. And then you can go back and forth with emails and those have yielded fruit and they will continue to yield fruit. And I think he's, I think we were shooting for like 25 uh, yes. to explain that if you would. So we have a goal uh, as we started off the 2023 to have a goal. One of our goals was to get 25 companies that use us, meaning the roster based off of Andy's email sending mm -hmm. out that he sends out throughout the month from your database. Right. And, um, and so whether it's referrals or whether, whatever it is, getting those uh, video production companies to come back to us. So that's our goal. I don't know, ex I could, Joe has it. I think we, we have some that are coming back to us, but uh, we actually had, I think it was a week or two ago that I think two or three of them came the same week, which is nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that's why you want to have build that up yeah, so right. that you don't have, because Joe cracks, said, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. we're probably going to have a little bit of a lull with the roster because right. we just don't have um, we, those people that consistently come back right. to us or a, a few of them that come back to right. us consistently right. um, aren't. They just used some people in the group. So um, that's what we're working on. And so like Drew says, I think that those are the, this is a good option. And we've talked about that there's one person from our group that's been with us for a while that said that he would like to start doing that. So we're getting information together on how to make those cold calls. It's not rocket science by any, by any, uh, it's a gut stretch. check. It's just, yeah, it's just <laughs> going and doing it. And so Intestinal we try to hope, make it more of a simple thing for you yeah. to make a call. Yeah. And uh, we'll have that. In, we're looking to have that information if anybody else is am, ambitious to do that or, or feels comfortable doing that. For some people, it's not that that yeah. big of a deal. Yeah. Um, and I, I, like you said, off of what you said about getting a hold of somebody, you get to know right away if somebody wants to talk to you or right. not. And you might even find out right away if you want to kind of take them as an unsubscribe. Yeah. I mean, they really don't either they don't do it or they don't really want to be have that. And so it's kind yeah. of a nice right up there yeah. up front and do that while it's not fun. It's what is the, what is the, not to get deep into the weeds here, but what is the, I've made lots and lots and lots of phone calls the first few years, the cold um, calls. What is the, what is it that makes us not, what is it? Is it fear of rejection? Rejection. It's gotta be like, Get somebody get mad at you? Yeah, it's got to be. Okay. What about is it just it could be the awkwardness? Like, okay, somebody, because that happened with me a few times where it was like, oh, this is the fourth call I've gotten yeah. today. And it's like, okay, how do sorry. I... You know, how do I handle that? And some of us aren't real quick on our feet. And so we, we have a script in front of us, but we have to go off script. Mm -hmm. One of the things I found out, though, just like everything, even if you're not very fast on your feet, the more you do the better yeah. you get. You just do. It's it's still not fun. There's kind of an adrenaline rush when you pick up the phone and you hear that. <laughs> you just did some this week, didn't you? you I, did, the... I did warm responses because I'm too much of a chicken. <laughs> but you heard a, you heard the, the <laughs> dialing there and you go, oh, I hope somebody doesn't pick up. I hope somebody doesn't. But I want somebody to pick well, up. It's kind is, of this emotional. For me, getting an email from somebody or even a text, if I were to even text back and forth, there's just something about, I think, hearing somebody tell you, I'm not interested or yeah. don't call me back or yeah. this is the seventh call I've gotten mm -hmm. today in a row. Mm -hmm. I just, I just want to ready for the weekend or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, if somebody were to email me that, I just put it, depends on it doesn't matter for me yeah, in that right. sense. I don't depends know why. It depends on how bad but, you want it though. Yeah. yeah. It just is. Mm -hmm. I mean, again, people can do themselves. They don't have to do cold calls, but mm -hmm. it might take your game to the next level. Yeah. It might take your income to the next level. That's what I was talking with Hudson. Yeah, about. I think that's what Drew's comment was about is, is that we don't, you know, sometimes you might have, he might make 10 calls in a day and he might, he might get seven voicemails yeah. because people have a um, caller ID and they yeah. don't know who it is. And so they don't answer, but those can turn into something too. But I think, I think what you said earlier is important. If you want to start out with cold calls here, start I'm talking as warms. an expert, Drew's kind of the expert, but from what I've seen, I did do some customer support stuff for a while back uh, about 10 about 12 13 years ago um it's fresh yeah <laughs> but uh <laughs> but uh if you want to i mean I, I think that it's an easy way to get on the phone and say hey you know whatever the person's name is we'll use roy because that's our dog's name yeah, and you call. never know roy you know uh 
you got a hold of me or I got a hold of you via email and I'm just getting back. Yep. I want to check in and see if you have any jobs. That's a pretty easy one because they've already responded to you yeah. once. And at least you have that to say. And if they mm -hmm. say, Oh, I, you know, whatever you have them a little bit that they, they probably get a lots of them. So they probably did respond that way. And so you can just have that conversation. That's a little bit of an icebreaker mm -hmm. and then you can get kind of good at that. And then like you said, it's, I think then it will propel you on to doing more of a cult, like a calling up, just cult Google, call. yeah. Yeah. you know, maybe you do, if you're good at uh, e-learning or something like that, and you want to, you know, type that into like you would sending out emails on a hybrid approach and just yep. find their number and yep. call whoever it is and yep. say, you know, just wondering if you're accepting demos or if you're accepting. Exactly. That's what you, that's what you do when you're on the front end, the yep. basic, you know, you haven't sent emails and you're w responding to a warm responses. And that's the kind of cold calling I did all of, which was just a mm -hmm. cold call, uh, video production company, ad agency, voice roster. Hi, Todd, full-time voiceover talent. Are you accepting demos? Yeah. Let me get you to the person or yeah, send it. Can I get your email address? And then you go and send the email address and then try to go back and forth a little bit and stay on their radar. And, but the other way is, is to send out emails and then to, to keep track of them and then say, circle back, you know, two, three, four weeks later and just say, hey, just, you know, you sent an email. I sent an e you responded and yep. I'm just getting back with you. That's what you're saying. Yeah. And that's what this is. That's part of the inf some, some of it's part of the information that we have in our cold call information that we might, we will probably have available to other people in VO Marketing Pro uh, soon. So that's all I've got. Great. Cold calls are working mm -hmm. and we'll keep building on that and keep building up hopefully recurring clients on the video or on the um, roster side of things. So and those are free once again. Huh? Those added are value. Added, yeah. They're yes. Added. But, uh, anyway. All right. My numbers, eight warm responses, one audition, a recurring client, Sent me a job, $400. That really helped out my week. Uh, without that, then I only had one other job on Fiverr for f for $7. So I get $5.60 in your face. And uh, <laughs> then I had 15 hours of editing for dad for a grand total of $705.60. I was $45.40 off of my goal. But that's the closest I've gotten in the last three weeks. So I'll take it. Hmm. Yeah, I've got a squeaky chair. Sorry mm -hmm. about that. So my week was two new clients, and that's been unusual this year. I haven't gotten a lot of new clients. I might be at 10 now this year. Um, Fiverr, $592. So we were low on Fiverr, and we were low on direct email marketing, $3,250. My total under 4000 this week, $3,842. $3,842. One quick thing. On Wednesday... Um, and, and this has been Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but especially Wednesday, I made $850 and it was one of those grinded out days. And if you were to look at the sheet that I fill things out, you, were, you would notice that the highest paying job I did was $150. I did a $60 job. I did hmm. an $85 job. I did a few like five or five, five, maybe a hundred dollar jobs. And all of those jobs would have been below the GV AA rate guide. In other words, if I wouldn't have accepted those, you wouldn't have had any work. I wouldn't week. have had any work that day. And so that I'm not going to get into all of that, but I'm just telling you, uh, I've talked about the GVAA rate guide and I know somebody, I know what, People would say, they'd say, well, you hurt the industry by accepting those. You need to accept higher paying jobs. And I don't- You've got I bills don't, to pay. Buy, yeah, Sorry. and I don't, buy in, I don't buy into that mentality. They're going to get somebody to do that work. And so I, I'm doing that work. In fact, there's one client that I've probably made close to $20,000 already this year. That was the one that came to me and said, we got a lot of work, but we only pay $100 per corporate and small internet commercial. Yeah. But I do, I've done, I've done probably close to 200 of those this year already. Wow. I've edited so, that many. Yeah. Yeah. You edit them for me. So anyway, oh. that was my week. Just a little bit of something there to tack on. Get me in trouble again. Well, I think next week you're going to have, you're going to be just blowing out of the water there. Maybe, you know, I had that, I I, I went over a hundred thousand dollars. I think I'm at like a hundred and. And that's the earliest I've ever been at over a hundred thousand. But remember, I had a client that really did a lot of work for me, so I got this big influx of work. So I don't, I expect things to be, you know, more normal or slowing down. So I'm, I'm thinking about 
we've talked about that, lowering my rate a little bit on Fiverr, try to beat the bushes, continuing to check up, do as much as I can. Maybe. Yeah, upwork. Up work. So we yeah. all have weeks that we've got yeah. to rethink some things, tweak yeah, some things, don't we, flail. Yeah, we see out of office, you know, we saw a fair yeah. amount this week when Joe sent out. I mean, there's only so much you can do because you need to send out. But mm-hmm. I think there's spring break and yeah. other people, other well, maybe spring break's done. But there's we people nice, traveling we had and nice weather like that. the week the before. Midwest, so, yeah. Not trying to make excuses. It's just it's just no. is what it is that that you never know when yeah. you're gonna have a slower week. So you yeah. just gotta keep your head about you and not ride the roller coaster. So. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for watching this. We will see you Wednesday for our 55th episode of the original Father-Son voiceover podcast. Take care.